ectomorph, mesomorph or endomorph, which soma type are you and how should you train accordingly? Enjoy the video! Hi guys, welcome to Bomb Body, my name is Dieter and today we shoot from CrossFit Algeria in the south of Spain and we're going to talk about soma types. How can you determine which type of soma type you are, ectomorph, mesomorph or endomorph and how should you train accordingly. Now you should know that originally the way to determine uh, the people's physique into three different types was designed by Sheldon, which was actually a psychologist. Does that sound like a coincidence? It does not. Yep. <laughs> okay, so what Dr. Sheldon did was he linked certain personality and characteristic traits to the different soma types, to so the ectomorphs, endomorphs, and mesomorphs. While one of them was more lazy and laid back, the other one took more initiative, while the other one was more uncertain. So he uh, put the characteristics together with the different soma types. Now that was all proven wrong, but still the fitness industry adopted those three different uh, soma types. The ectomorph, which is tall and skinny, the mesomorph that was um, the athletic uh, posture and the endomorph that is more small and wider because they all have different metabolisms and they all tr uh, should train in a different way to get results. Now, first of all, which type are you? And then we're going to see how you have to train accordingly. So, how can you determine that you're an ectomorph, a mesomorph or an endomorph? Very easy. Let's go on holidays. So you're a guy that works out in the gym, you go on holidays, you lay back for a week, you live your life, you eat normal, you drink a little bit, you come back to the gym and you stand on the scale and you weigh less. That means you're an ectomorph. That means that your metabolism is so fast that when you don't train and you don't eat for muscle growth that you're gonna lose a little bit of fat but you lose a little bit of muscle mass as well. Now, an endomorph is exactly the opposite. So on one side you have the ectomorph, the tall and skinny one. An endomorph is exactly the opposite. If you go on holidays and you live your life, you enjoy life, you come back and you weigh five kilos more, you can be damn sure that you're an endomorph. So you have all the troubles in the world to not putting weight on. Now, whereas on one hand you have the long and tall and skinny and bony ectomorphs, and on the other hand you have the short and fatter mesomorphs, there in the middle you have the naturally gifted. Now, naturally gifted, that's the ones that make it far in the sports world. Yeah? So they are the ones that if you give them a training impulse, they have a fast response of muscle growth, of bettering their physique and so on. So here's the thing you have to know. Most training plans are designed for these guys because that's the ones that in the American American football teams or in the baseball teams they get the top positions they go very far and that's the ones the big coaches work with and that's the ones they design their training plans for get really good results for us they open them up for a wide public post them on the internet sell them online and that's all for the mesomorphs but the ectomorphs and the endomorphs they have to train differently to get those huge results and they don't get into this niche of people that the famous coaches coach. Now that doesn't mean that as an ectomorph or an endomorph you can't make it far and you can't make it in the sports world or you can't make it to the world top even. There's examples of typical ectomorphs that were skinny, tall, bony as a teenager and as a kid that made it to be famous bodybuilders. The same goes for explosive sporters. Um, but they just, and the same goes for the endomorph by the way, um, but they just put in that extra effort and they train according to their soma type. And here's where it goes wrong for a lot of people. As an ectomorph you can train like a mesomorph. The mesomorphs on the typical YouTube videos that go for uh, 30 sets for the chest with a huge pump uh, because the ectomorphs they already have a huge energy expenditure and it would just kill their gains. Whereas the endomorphs that tend to grow wider but with a little bit of fat reserve fast, they should do a higher volume training and they definitely should throw in a lot of cardio. Then you have to play with smart forms of cardio, so not just uh, steady state cardio, but smart um, ways of cardio that includes a circuit training of strength exercises, for instance. So basically, ectomorph endomorph and mesomorph can all look really athletic and they can all really look good naked or in their shorts uh, but they have to train accordingly now naturally your ectomorph mesomorph or endomorph but it's not that easy okay because out of nature I'm an ectomorph, yeah? I've always been weighing uh, 78 kilos whereas now I weigh 92 kilos so I look more like a mesomorph direction mesomorph um, but if I stop training I very fast go down towards the ectomorph again. 
but I'm somewhere in between because I feel like I'm an ectomorph, but then look at uh, Patrick, the producer behind the camera, which is a lot more ectomorph than me uh, still. So he is taller than me, skinnier than me, and he grows towards the mesomorph as well, but he has to overeat more and more, and he has to adapt his training style even more than me. So while people tend to have to put everything in boxes, your A, B, or C, nature doesn't work that way. You're somewhere on that line. All right, in our next video, we will uh, look more at the ectomorph side of the, of the line and we'll see how we can get those guys get better results with training because that's also where Patrick and me have uh, most experience so that's going to be our first video uh, for now if you like this one please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time bye guys you think we got everything? did, did you just call me skinny? yeah I gained 3 kilos last month man yeah.